Welcome everybody to another um, review, I guess. Um, this time we're going to review the Vapor 7 Elite in the FG stud pattern. Um, for some reason, Nike decided to release these on July 7th, um, the same day as the World Cup Women's World Cup Final. And they left them out for a few days and then they took them off their website. And then they brought back, now they had the orange, the special edition colorway. They had the, like the blue, I don't know the correct color, but the, the blue one. And then they had the black in all, th in the Superfly and the Vapor. Um, right now I have the black colorway of the Vapor. Um, so as I was saying, they took them off their website for a little bit, for a few days. And right now, I believe I've looked at other websites such as soccer.com and all your big name, you know, retailers. And I can't find the new editions of the Vapor or the Superfly at all. I don't know if this was Nike's idea of a marketing plan or something they thought would help them produce more sales. I, I, I really don't know. I wish I had the answer. I think it's a little weird. Um, because I held out on buying the Superflies because I figured they were going to be around. And then it turns out they only have the black colorway of the Superfly. So right now you can only get the black vapor and the black Superfly on Nike.com. And they have a few left of the, I believe, of the vapor, the special edition, the orange colorway um, that you can purchase. But other than that... I think you're out of luck for a little bit. So they decide to release them. Um, so, yeah, it was weird. Um, they had the. the They never released the Superfly, the blue color colorway on Nike.com. Um, it just said coming soon. Um, but they had the special edition that you could have purchased. And I, I, I don't know. I just thought that was weird. Maybe they wanted to hype it up. Maybe. I, I don't know. So I'm waiting in line for those two. Um, come out because I want the Superfly in that colorway even though I know technically the Vapor Superfly they're the same shoe it's just a little bit um, higher ankle area which from what I've heard it's not really tight anymore like it used to be on the Superflies now it's just kind of like I want to say like the Phantom Vision where it's not it's just more like a sock thing Um, but yeah so anyways let's uh open this bad boy up so we got the Vapor 13 Elite FG on the black, black, and matte silver. Um, I haven't seen these yet in person. This is going to be the first time even looking at them, opening them up. Wow. And this one is totally, really, really blacked out. You know, usually you get something, a boo, and it's not really fully blacked out but this is okay so you might be asking what's the difference they look the same they look exactly the same as the last version um i can tell you right now they definitely feel different in hand yeah so you really don't see the other ones you could really feel the fine and then you could feel the coating that they had over it this one you can't really feel much but this shoe if i'm not mistaken they took it from if you're familiar with nike's um nike footwear they have some um running shoes or i don't even know if they're considered running shoes um it's a it's a flying it trainer and they use that same material from those shoes on these shoes they wanted to make something even better than the flying it that they had so um they're using something uh, different. Um, it's a, it's called they're saying high tenacity yarn, um, so it's a little bit more softer and form fitting than the old flying it. Um, and then when you add it with the ACC, if it's there or not, I'm not sure. Um, it makes the if you add it with the ACC and the the individual yarn fibers, then um, it makes it feel a lot more softer or more flexible 
than the Mercurio. And to me, that was just hard to do because the last Mercurio, it, it was going to be tough to beat. I don't know how you can improve it. I don't know how you can make it better. Obviously, I haven't worn these yet. I haven't done a play test on them, so I don't know if they're better. But a lot of people are saying they are better as opposed to the Tiempo that a lot of people didn't like. But they are really are saying that this is actually better. Um, and if you can see, so plate, same um, stud pattern as before, except for here. There's just a hole here. And then they made the studs a little bit longer. Um, so with that being said, these are probably very dangerous to use on um, like turf or artificial grass for that reason because now with the stud a little longer which means you could have more chance of injury or something like that because your foot's going to get stuck in more for traction so you definitely don't want that to happen and it kind of sucks because um i know a lot of probably a lot of schools now or or fields are going more towards um artificial grass so that's a little bit of bummer you would have to get the AG stud pattern, which I don't even know if you can get that in America, to be honest. I haven't seen very many AG um, stud patterns on Nike.com, that's for sure. I know you can Nike ID it, but then that takes a long time, and then you're paying a premium price. So that's not a good look for Nike, I guess, if you're living in North America, or at least in the U.S. Um, and then one, else, one thing else they talk about... Let's see if this is true or not, but basically um, this is supposed to bounce back to give you like to make you faster is what they're saying. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit more softer, more flexible and give you that pushback, I guess, when you bend the foot. Kind of like they kind of took um, the shoot. I'm, I'm forgetting right now. I should know this stuff. The running shoe, the zoom fly and where it's um, rounded up here to give you a little bit extra boost when you're running. It has been proven, I guess, that it makes you faster by a little bit, but it really does make you faster. So I think that's why they kind of wanted to do that with this shoe. Um, but this is basically the shoe that um, the pros were wearing that was being tested. If, if you look at it this way um it just didn't have all the other brandings on it and stuff like that so um that's that's mostly the difference of the shoe like i said it's something that you're gonna have to wear and feel and see if you like the the difference because like i said there was absolutely nothing wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong with the the 12 or the the superfly 6 so the Vapor 12 or the Superfly 6, there was nothing wrong with it. They were good shoes. They were really good shoes. So it was going to be hard for them to try to improve on that. But based on what people have said and um, the little bit that they've added, it's really made a big difference. Um, so that's kind of cool. I hope, I'm hoping that um, Nike kind of, um takes it easy on all the colorways just because i want it to be more like you know back then i feel like they get more they'll sell more product um and it'll it'll just be beneficial to them to not release all these different colorways at one point one time and just keep it to two or three max for maybe six months i feel like they'll sell more because then people are always waiting for the next colorway to drop that they might hold out on purchasing like how many people are really trying to buy this black colorway maybe not many it's not selling out that's for sure what what are they doing um everybody's probably waiting for that blue colorway so i guess it could work for them but then what happens when there's a leak color that's going to come out that people want to get they're not going to get that blue one then they're going to wait for the next one um a lot of people didn't I don't think knew about the special edition colorway until it was released. I happened to pick up on it uh, because uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he was presented, when he was talking about the shoe being released, 
he was presented a box and he opened it and I could see off the reflection of the box right here that it was orange. And I'm like, hmm, that color isn't confirmed. I know that is not a black or a blue colorway. It's something different. And then, of course, the orange colorway has been released or is going to be released as, as a special edition. And then, and then get this. So then today I'm, I'm watching, you know, I'm Instagram and I see, um, Sean Reynolds in, this, in at, at practice, I guess, for the first day of practice. And he's got a whole different colorway, a different colorway shoe on then. And so then I started doing my research, of course, because I just like to be in the know of things. And I find, hold on, let me see if I can find it on my phone. Okay, so then I do my research and I find out that this boot right here, I don't know the camera can focus, is going to be released July 17th. So now as a consumer, me, I'm torn. Do I get this boot or do I still wait for the original colorway of the Superfly that was supposed to be released? Um, as you can see, this is just has some um, Chinese lettering or something. It's got a pink swoosh. So, um, a little different, a little bit different, kind of cool. I guess it's going to be limited as well, special edition, but like I said, so now you're making a consumer possibly hold out and not, um, really just pull the trigger on something. Cause now it's like, let's wait, let's see what's going to happen or let's see what's being released. And that could be good, but also could be bad if you ask me. Um, so these like i said i'm really gonna test them out i'm gonna do a play test i'll wear them in game and i'll, I'll let my true um, review happen and get a full analysis of it and see if it's really that much better than the 12. should you buy the 12 or should you go for the 13. um and i don't know i'm i may end up just returning these like i said take advantage of the 30 days that nike gives you um, I don't know if most people do, but I promise the other one is in here too. Um, and then if you want to see the bag, I guess I'm, I'm neglecting everybody for that. It's the same, same as last time. You got that weird kind of color changing colorway on the Mercurial thing. Um, so yeah, that is my review on the shoe. It's not as in depth because I mean, I hate to bore you guys with just facts. I'm sure for the people watching this video, you guys have already watched enough videos and know all the specs, the tech specs. I just want to give you as a consumer an honest review on if you should spend your money on this. I'm, I don't get paid by Nike to um, represent them. I'm not, I, I, I feel like I'm not even supposed to be talking about the company in any way so i'm not getting paid extra there's nothing for me i can probably get in trouble so you're gonna get an honest review from me no matter what because i want you guys to um just buy the right thing spend your money on the right thing you know we all work hard for our money and i don't want you guys throwing away your money to just anything just because it's the new product or just because you know you want to buy the newest thing that's out so um let me do a play test on this and then i'll be back and give you guys a full full in-depth review and maybe a comparison to um the vapor 12. so that's my video hope you guys liked it like comment subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one peace